East St. Louis resident says she is finally getting relief from flooding woes caused by the city that's costing her thousands of dollars. Why she says this is a case of the city not doing what it was supposed to and the people paying the price. Here's Ellie Davis with tonight's You Paid For It. Dolores Johnson hates to see a heavy rainfall. It means the street flooding in her East St. Louis neighborhood and that spells real trouble. The problem is, is the flooding streets, the water in my basement, the sewer drains are not clean, so water can't get down the drain. So water sits on our street or in our yards and get into our basement. This is what it looks like in her basement when the sewer backs up in a big rain. She lost so much in these backups. Sometimes she has to get a big dumpster to put all of her ruined belongings in. What all kind of stuff did you have in your basement that you lost? Washer, dryer freezer, stove. You Just, lost all that? I lost all of that. How much would you say you lost all this cost you? Uh, about maybe twenty or $30,000. The city shares some of the blame for so much water in the street in the rainstorm. Look at this sewer. It's completely blocked with mud and debris. The water has no place to go, so it backs up down the street and sometimes into basements. Dolores just didn't want to lose her home where she's lived for decades. If it get flooded again, I won't be able to stay in here. I really won't. I want to stay in here until the day I die. That's my feelings. You know, I've asked them, I pleaded with them. I told them that I was going to call Elliot Davis. So, you know, by me being an older lady, they just don't believe that I will do this. I did reach one of East St. Louis's top officials, the city manager, Robert Betts, who makes the day-to-day -day decisions. We had a resident, she complains about flooding in her streets, flooding in her basement, uh, the sewer dr uh, drains are clogged. What are you guys doing? Well, let me tell you, first of all, um, Elliot, uh, great question. Uh, we are doing uh, everything we can at this point to help alleviate those problems. Um, the city's uh, vac truck, sewer truck, has been in, in, in the shop. However, we've leased a truck, and we're in the process of purchasing a new truck uh, to make sure that we're uh, prepared for those events in the future. It's a truck with an important purpose. Unblock uh, blockages in sewer lines. So that could contribute to some of that uh, flooding on the streets. Oh, absolutely. It very well could. Yeah, and not to mention all of the rain, that, the excessive rain that we've been getting uh, doesn't help either. I want something done about it because if it's not, my basement will flood again and I will lose everything again. Bed says he has crews working hard to try to get the clogged sewers cleaned out. That's a problem that's happened over years. Meanwhile, residents can only wait and hope for a break from Mother Nature while the work goes on to clear the sewers that have been like that for years. Fox 2. We'll keep watch on this deal. After all, you paid for it.